if you're into amateur radio, you may recognize this uh, Anderson power pole connector here. Uh, they're pretty commonly used um, for electrical power, 12 volts typically, um, for ham radio gear. Uh, I had a little mishap with this one the other night. I was moving around some gear here on the bench and um, I pulled this wire out of it. I assume that the little contact in there was not crimped correctly onto the wire, um, but I thought I'd fix it up because uh, it's Sunday evening and I was hoping to play a little radio. And this is keeping me from it. So let's, let's try this together and see if we can get it going. Now, the contacts in, inside of here, the metal contacts, are held in by a little metal tab, a spring spring steel, I assume, uh, tab underneath. I'm going to try and push that tab down with this screwdriver. I'm having a little trouble seeing here around the camera, but it wouldn't be much fun without it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think... I think... Oh, that one I wanted there. Trying to lift the contact, but get over the spring. There we go. Hope you can see that in there. I got under the contact and over the spring, and now the contact is backed off a little. And it's clear of the edge of the spring, so I should be able to push it out of there. Now it's caught. There's a little, I don't know if you can see back in there, there's a little plastic wall that it's stuck at. There we go. There's the contact. Yeah, it looks like maybe that wasn't crimped too good. So let me, let's open that up a little. It's copper, so it's reasonably soft. And we have to open this end up too. I don't know if this will work. I may need to... Hmm. Hang on. Through the magic of video, I'll only be gone a moment. I would have thought that this part back here was meant to crimp onto the insulation, and this part up here was meant to crimp onto the conductor. Let's take a look at a fresh one and see what we see. I thought that must have been on the conductor in this back here on the insulator. A lot of contacts are designed that way, but I see that this is already crimped over. I think that's just part of the mechanical structure of this contact to seat it in the correct place inside of the connector body. So we do need to crimp the conductor in here. So let me put these little tabs back where they were. All right, so it's quite possible that through the magic of video I will remove my attempt to reuse the, uh, the other connector, the other contact rather. Did not go well. And so let's just get this crimp started with the pliers. I'm sure there's a correct tool for crimping these contacts, which I do not have. Oh. So if you're doing this, you're going to want to avoid having that guy fall out like that. There it goes. All right. Now we're off to a good start. So, as I was saying, I'm sure there's a correct uh, crimper for this job that I don't happen to own because I very rarely apply one of these. Okay, now we're getting a good crimp on it. Could be. Yeah, we're going to need that to be narrow, I think. So, I don't know if you can see in there very well. But it narrows some after the entrance, it looks like. And I think that's where this is giving me trouble, because this 
<clears throat> flattened out some in the process of crimping it. All right, this crimper has little spots for various sizes of contact and that'll help us I think bring this to a, a more correct shape a more squared up shape to fit in that connector housing there we go all right well it looks ugly but it seems to be in there good Let's see if, oh haha <laughs> just like a bought one okay so you can see the the contacts right up to the end there on both of them and oh sorry you tipped over put a little something there to hold you up there you go sorry about that I'm experimenting with this camera technique so it's in there good both of them are in there good so let's get that plugged in and see come on a journey with me let me know how this works so here's the uh, here's the other end of that I can see if we're gonna keep doing this I'm gonna need a little tripod or a holder or something so there's that and then the plug for this radio is way back here let's see if I can find it and the third try there it is all right so that guy's hooked up so let's have power here and all right it's gonna be time to play some radio so i uh <clears throat> hope you found this video interesting if not also informative uh, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and if you have any questions and comments, there's a comment section down below for that. Um, and if this is the kind of thing you're into, hit that subscribe button.